Hi everyone, it's Willie Banks, your Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. Um, just wanted to stop by and say hello and hope everyone is doing okay. Um, I know it's been a while since I've had the opportunity to stop by and say hello, um, but I wanted to take the time this afternoon and just tell everyone that I'm thinking of them, especially since we have moved past commencement. Um, and so kudos to Kelly and her team for all the hard work of getting 7,400 graduates um, to participate in our virtual commencement. Um, and I, I do have to say that it has been a tough couple of weeks. Um, been in conversation with lots of friends and also some family um, about what's happening in the country. And for um, people of color, especially for black people um, who have faced uh, racism, uh, it's been especially tough. And I think um, from my seat and someone who has multiple identities, including African American, um, it's been really tough and hard. Um, and so, you know, but what in inspires me are the young people that are marching across this country and also the globe um, demanding change. And so I think that is something important um, and that I hope that we will be able to see some substantive changes to um, how we treat people and also to our institutions and also to the systems. And um, I think at the end of the day, we just wanna be all treated with um, fairness and equality. And so um, I hope that we can reach that, that milestone. Um, I also wanted to make sure to let everybody in the division know um, that we will be having some training um, specifically on combating anti-black racism. Um, and so if you can, please mark July 8th, 9th, and the 23rd. Um, I will be having a colleague from um, another institution spend some time with our division. It'll be open for everyone within the division, all of our staff, um, to participate in some training, um, do some reflecting, um, but then also try to figure out how can we make this change. Um, and how can we do that? And as I said in my initial um, note, um, this doesn't fall on just one person. It isn't um, just one office's responsibility, it's everyone's responsibility. And so um, to that end, um, I'm hoping that everyone will sign up to participate on July 8th, 9th, and 23rd. Um, some more information will be coming forward from that. In the meantime, what you can do is check out our Student Affairs website um, because there's lots of great information. Um, Jess um, Leggett and then also Sherwin and the staff over in Student Life and Leadership um, have compiled a really comprehensive list of resources for people who are interested in finding out more information about how they can combat anti-black racism, especially on campus, but then also in the greater world. So I'm gonna ask everyone, please visit the website, take a look at all of that information and make sure you thank your colleagues for all of the work that they have done. Um, finally, I want to say um, congratulations to Eduardo, Naid, Andrea, um, Andrea, excuse me, and Patrick um, for being recognized in, as employees of the month. So congratulations, a job well done, um, and I hope that we get to celebrate in person um, relatively soon. Um, we'll make sure to hold your baskets for you, your blankets, not baskets, blankets. Um, and then the last thing I want to say is please make sure that you are taking care of yourself that you are spending time with your family and whatever fills your cup. Um, I hope you're doing that. And I hope that you also are wearing face coverings and staying um, a healthy distance away from folks. Um, I'm doing the same and um, as my first mask face covering said, be kind. My t-shirt also says be kind, but I'm gonna leave you with this from my favorite, the Golden Girls. I want all of you to be safe. So be safe. I'll see you soon, July 8th, 9th, and 23rd. Take care, everyone.